Welcome once again to another RetireCoast.com video. This one is the Peter Anderson Arts Festival that's held in Ocean Springs each year in November, usually the first week of November. Now I attended this year so I could create some video and show you a little bit about the art festival and you can see as you're listening to me that I was out there very early this morning when the people were getting ready, at least the uh, ones that were displaying their materials were still getting ready and others that were walking through and taking a look at all of the goods and art that was on display. So you don't see a lot of crowds in these early ones that you're watching right now. And hopefully you'll see some wide videos shortly here where the crowds are starting to build. The best time to go is in the morning, probably just a little bit later than we did at about uh, 8.30 or so. You can grab a cup of coffee while you're there, maybe eat some snacks or a donut or something and uh, walk around and take a look at the shops just as they're being set up before all the crowds come in. It's particularly helpful if you are wheelchair bound and you need some assistance getting around. As you can see, there are hardly anyone here. Now, it's hard to believe that this is going to at least accommodate 150,000 or more people at this show, which is held every year, as I mentioned. It is the largest festival in the state of Mississippi. It draws people from all over the country that come here, not just the people like you and I that may come and buy some art, but the artists too are from everywhere. Now there's a large art community on the Mississippi Gulf Coast represented here at this fair every year. You can not only buy from local artists, but you can buy from other artists. And there's some terrific items here. This is almost, but not quite, a not made in China type event where most things are handcrafted. It's very interesting to come through here. You'll meet some people. You'll talk to some interesting artists here. We've purchased a lot of art over the years at this festival and we'll probably purchase yet another piece here because some of the artists are traveling. They don't live in the immediate area. So if you come to the Mississippi Gulf Coast in the future, you need to take a look at the possibility of stopping by and purchasing some art, but just getting out, just the festival idea. There are a lot of food vendors here. There's entertainment as well. There's singers, there's all kinds of other entertainment. People can bring their dogs and walk. They can bring their children. It's a very big family affair. This is just one of many events that are held on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. It's a consistent project to keep up with all of the things that are going on almost every month. In some months, there are many opportunities to go to festivals and events such as Mardi Gras, St. Patrick's Day, Veterans Day, just on and on all over the coast there are always something to do almost every weekend if you wanted to plan and do something at least once every weekend if you were living here you'd be filling up your calendar with all of the great places to go and see here you know for an area with a relatively small population it draws a lot of people in here and we love it they leave their money behind and we enjoy having them come back every year. Please go to the retirecoast.com website and read our blog articles there. We'd like to hear that you've come to visit us and stay with us again. Thank you.